When constructing geological cross-sections, it is useful to be able to work out the apparent dip for a true dip in a particular section. This clip shows how to work out the apparent dip of planes on a vertical cross-section that's trending 1 to 0 degrees. The planes have a strike of 0, 6, 0 degrees and a true dip of 45 degrees towards the southeast. Start by marking the North Pole on the tracing paper. Count 60 degrees around the primitive circle. Remember, heavy lines are at 10 degrees. So it's 10, 20, 30 and so on. Mark on the tracing paper the strike of the plane. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the North Pole of the stereo net. The plane dips at 45 degrees towards the southeast, so find the correct section of the equator and count 45 degrees along the equator from the primitive circle towards the center of the stereo net. Again, remember heavy lines are at 10 degrees, subdivisions are at 2 degrees. Mark the point where the dip is 45 degrees towards the southeast. Hold the tracing paper in place and draw the great circle that this point lies on. Rotate the tracing paper so that the North Pole is in its original position. The cross section has a strike of 1 to 0 degrees and it's vertical. Count 120 degrees around the perimeter circle. Mark on the tracing paper the strike of the line of section. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the north pole of the stereo net. The section is vertical, so the great circle that represents this plane lies along the north-south line. Hold the tracing paper in place and draw in the great circle. The two planes intersect. Mark this intersection on the tracing paper. Hold the tracing paper in place and count the small circles from the North Pole along the North-South line. This shows the apparent dip on the vertical cross-section is 42 degrees in the direction 120.